Medtronic is a world-known company. We're a medical device uh, maker, manufacturer. We do a lot of different devices. Medtronic actually started in the cardiac, uh, cardiac rhythm business, so we're making pacemakers and defibrillators. Um, since then, we've also now moved into um, the neurological business, so things like deep brain stimulators, um, diabetes management, pain pumps, a lot of different devices. There's also divisions that, that work on catheters, um, drug delivery, and, and things like that. The group that I work in specifically, we're interested in making our implantable devices safe to use in MRI scanners. Um, right now, patients with implantable devices cannot have an MRI scan because there's a lot of different interactions that can happen between the fields in an MRI scanner and the devices. And by interactions, I mean harmful interactions. Um, and so we're looking at ways to make the devices safe to use in an MRI scanner. Uh, this is a very complex problem because, f f uh, for, as one example, um, the size and shape of the patient in an MRI scanner will influence the magnitude of this interaction. And as you probably understand, the size and shape of humans is very uh, wide ranging, cannot be controlled very well. Um, and so this is very difficult to measure experimentally. And so um, that's one of the reasons we decided to move to large scale modeling of this problem is, is this issue of, for example, human uh, size and shape. Um, there's a number of other variables as well, such as, for example, how the device is implanted in the person, of course, will vary greatly, as you can imagine. Um, and again, this isn't something that can be very well controlled experimentally, and, but on the other hand, can be simulated accurately um, using certain simulation tools. We found that ANSYS does have certain features that we, that we really liked. Um, we can import CAD models, for example, when we're simulating our, the leads um, that are implanted in the body. We can get just CAD geometries of those leads from our, our mechanical design engineers, and we can import those directly into the ANSYS um, simulation, electromagnetic simulation package. Um, in addition, we also like the fact that there is a coupled thermal and electromagnetic package because we do, uh, one of the things we look at is thermal damage to the tissue that can result um, during an MRI scan. And so we really like the fact that we can do, we can couple the electromagnetic and the thermal packages together to get our solution to the problem. Perhaps more importantly, it's giving us a lot of a lot of the physical insight in, into, into the, these interactions in the, of our uh, pacemaker systems in MRI scanners. Like I was saying before, this is a, uh, a very complex problem because there are so many different variables that are extremely difficult to control, such as our patient population, our, um, the variability in implant location, and so forth, um, that this just would be nearly impossible to study somehow experimentally. And so I think doing this work using simulation tools gives us that, the freedom to, to really understand the problem and then to figure out what do we need to do to um, mitigate the hazards.